Despite rain across the area today, burn bans remain in effect for several counties throughout the region. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall explains why the wet weather doesn't mean you're in the clear. Jeremy. Yeah, Ken, thanks to the rain this morning, the fire danger classification has changed from moderate to low. But the La Crosse Fire Department and the DNR say that alone doesn't change the need for enhanced fire safety because those dry conditions will be back before you know it. Even with today's precipitation and more sunshine forecasted this week, burn bans remain in effect. After today, conditions will return to being dry, and we just haven't had enough wet weather to keep it wet on the ground. The bans are designed to help prevent wildfires that can be sparked by not disposing cigarettes properly or misusing fireworks. The La Crosse Fire Department says something as simple as backyard tiki torches can also cause them. I know in March that seems like a weird thing, but with our, our warmer temperatures, with bugs coming out sooner, um, those are the kind of things that with dry conditions, it doesn't take much if you have any kind of embers floating. Dry air and high winds elevate the risk for fires. The DNR classifies the fire dangers into five categories, low, moderate, high, very high, and extreme. Today's rain has the area in the low category, but with more sunshine on the way, that's expected to go back up. Forest fires in Wisconsin are very similar to Canada, so we measure a lot of different metrics um, when when we calculate what the uh, what the fire danger is. Um, but a lot of it's common sense too. So we look at you know are we in a drought? Um, what is the chance of precipitation today? What are what is the wind speed? What is the relative humidity? And the La Crosse Fire Department also tells me people should check the DNR's website before any type of burn as the fire danger classifications can differ in each county. Ken. All right, Jeremy, thanks very much. And we will have a link to the DNR's resources that Jeremy mentioned on all of our digital platforms.